David. Hi. Nice Hello. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I just ask you something? When you go on stage tonight, what's the first impression that you want to make in people's minds? Because you come on stage the same time as the band. Yeah. And then you do a, a very slow number. I don't think I come out with any intention of... Um, I've been eating Stilton. Do I smell like no, it? No, not at all, my dear. No port, though. No <laughs> port. Um, I don't think I come out with any intention of impressing anything on their minds. There are, there are people here who've come every night of your tour to yes. see you. And when you're on stage, I've noticed there are way gestures and things that are almost as if you know that they're I recognise it. Yes, I recognise a lot of them. Yeah. Really? You yeah. Can, there are people there. Their faces become indelibly... Earth is that? It's the underground. This is ours, of course. It's my support act. <laughs> How would you say that your acts changed from the one in '76? I mean, that was very monochromatic. Yeah, very I, austere. I think really this is not so much an act, really. It's more sort of a, a performance of songs, really. Do you think it's uh, it seems a very happy thing? You seem very happy doing it. Yes, I am. <laughs> Did you realise I was this tall? Yes. <laughs> I'd heard rumours. <laughs> yes, it's preschool milk. Um, <laughs> do you see the way the people out there, how their appearances are changing during the tour? I mean, when they first saw you... It's quite amazing because there's are about all seven characters that I've created are out there somewhere. I see a man who fell to earth and a Ziggy Stardust and a thin white juke and, and at the moment a lot of sailor's hats and things. It's, that's incredibly endearing. I, are you aware of the consequences of things that you do and say? I mean, is it possible to be relaxed, to act in a spontaneous way when everything you wear can be suddenly picked up by... Well, it is at the moment because it's not that sort of outrageous, really. I mean, everybody wears plastic, <laughs> don't they, now? But... Garbage bags, really. When you were thinking about what to wear on this tour, did mm. you think of what it would look like translated onto thousands of fans? Or I just wanted something very simple, you know, a simple outline. Yeah. So what we're wearing tonight. <laughs> and what about the changes in, in your clothes during tonight's performance? Well, these get sweaty, so I've put on another lot. This is <laughs> I wondered how really. much weight you're losing every about night. About three pounds a night. Really? Yeah. After this, you're going on to make another film. Yes. Do you think your, your work now is going to move off in another direction? I don't think so. I hope to um, widen it, really. I mean, I... I obviously want to continue making music. I like to, uh, this performance on this tour has been uh, somewhat of an eye-opener because I've really enjoyed just performing songs and not having the commitment of having to be a character, which has made it less of a strain than it normally is. You seem really happy on stage to go through the old songs and, and to do them in a new way and everybody obviously in the audience Yes, goes along I, with it. Yeah, I'm having a very good time. But what, can you tell me why it is though that your fans are happy to go along with your changes? Do you know what I mean? There are other performers that the Better fans... Better ask them, I think. Yeah, they all seem happy to spend 300 quid and come and see you on tour. Yes, is that how much my tickets are now? No, that's how many concerts they've been to. <laughs> I know, it's quite amazing. Yeah. Incredible. Just a Gigolo is going to come out in the autumn. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what do you think people, how do you think people react to that? I mean, how would you like them to react? I don't know, I haven't seen it. Um, I, I don't usually see rushes when I'm filming, so I, I really don't have any real idea of what the film's like. David Hemmings said you put everything you had into it and you were totally professional as an actor. Cool. <laughs> do you think that's a compliment? Yes, it is. Very much so. I, I mean, do you see acting uh, taking over more and more of your time? No, directing maybe. Let's get behind that thing. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Time to do a show. All it? right, OK. Time to do Are you coming up with me? I'm not allowed to go through no. the door. It's the Berlin Wall, my <laughs> um, When do you think you'll come back and perform on stage again? I mean... About 45 minutes. No, no. Do another tour in this country. Um, possibly a little tour next year. Very yeah. simple one. Yeah. But definitely a, a big tour in two years' time, 1980. Can I ask you one last thing? Mm. People I've talked to have worked with you say you're a very personal person, if you know what I mean. Very people who go out with me? No, to work with you. Oh, is it you're people a, who go very, out with you're you? You're a very, um, not secretive, but personal. Keep things to yourself. Quite, quite quiet, yes. Do you think you're shy? No. 
No, I'm not really shy. I'm just a bit quiet. Do you think if you didn't keep things to yourself, people wouldn't be surprised at what you did next? I've never really thought about that. I'll let you know after the show. Okay. I'll have to do a show. <laughs> <laughs>